My name is Spencer. I'm a project manager here at Ned Law Roofing. Our focus is making sure your building, whether it be shopping center, whether it be hospital, or whether it's your home, making sure it's waterproof and uh, kept in good conditions. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through two of our favorite roof systems. Both have their places and advantages in society today. One's an asphalt built up roof and one's a torch down roof. Sometimes you can't use asphalt. It's inaccessible to the building. So you opt for a torch down system and vice versa. Our two favorite systems share a lot in common. You would start out with a vapor barrier, insulation, a cover board, and then we kind of bridge off. So the vapor barrier is to prevent condensation in the building. If there's no insulation inside, you need a vapor barrier so that you don't get water droplets on the inside of your building. It's creating a thermal break between the outside air and the inside air. Similar to tar and gravel, you're gonna roll out your vapor barrier. You're then gonna install your insulation. You're then gonna put down your protection board on top. All of this is gonna be mechanically fastened to the deck. And then you're gonna start installing your membranes. The asphalt is usually around 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The torch is 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. We wanna protect the roof so that we don't start any fires that we're as safe as possible. So we use things like a cover board to protect the insulation and anything below from starting a fire as well as special tape we install around the perimeter to block the fire from getting inside the building. The protection board is an essential part of your roof system. It protects your insulation from the torch, allowing you to install your basin cap sheet on top of it. Following the installation of the protection board, we start to install our membrane. We will start with our base sheet, which is torched down in this case. Typically when torching, you wanna to make sure you are torching along the roll as well as the actual roof itself to make sure you get an even and uniform bleed out. So the cap sheet is the final layer to go on. It has a built-in granular surface protectant that maintains the life of your roof. So here you'll see us installing a tar and gravel roof system. This system is used mainly on hospitals and schools. Namely on school projects, open flame is not allowed. So we opt for the hot asphalt applied roof system. Our two systems share a lot in common, kind of bridge off where the tar and gravel roof, you would put down four plies with asphalt, flood coat and gravel. A four ply system means four plies of felt or membrane is ran across the roof, one over the other to create the waterproof layer. So here we begin by installing the underlayment board. It literally looks like a sheet of drywall. It gets put down in glue over the steel deck. So on a tar and gravel system, usually you need some securement for the vapor barrier. That means fully adhering it or installing it with asphalt so that the roof is held down and doesn't blow off. So installing a tar and gravel roof system starts with the kettle. The asphalt is pumped up through a pipe to the roof. The asphalt then goes into the mop buggies, which are transported to the section of roof it's being used on. The asphalt is heated up in the kettle to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and then is pumped to the roof through the pipe. A mop is then put into the tar buggy and used to apply the asphalt all the way across the roof. The rolls are then set into the asphalt and rolled across the roof. When mopping in rolls, you want to make sure the asphalt is fully applied over the roof so that the roll does not hit any bare spots. The rolls are ran one after the other across the roof, embedded in the hot asphalt to make sure you have a well-protected membrane. So the, the flood proofing is the felt and the asphalt. That's what's keeping your building waterproof. Lastly, the asphalt is poured onto the roof. The gravel is embedded in this asphalt to create a UV protective layer and finish off the system. You go through countless hours of safety training and installation training yearly to ensure we're installing these membranes safely and properly. The longevity of the roofs definitely depends on what material you're going with. We have more cost-effective options that will get you 15, 
20 years out of your roof. And then we have more intricate and stronger options that will get you to 20, 30 plus years.